Hi, my name is Emilio Jose Garcia. I am from Barcelona, Spain, and I currently live in, in Canada, in Waterloo, Ontario. In 2008, I decided to, to go for a long trip. I was very curious about exploring the world, and I was kind of tired of living a normal life. So the idea was to travel for, for a few months, starting in India, and then finish up in Australia, learn how to speak English properly. But what was supposed to be a few months became three years. When I started traveling, I wasn't aware of how many cool communities were out there. One of them was couch surfing, and I was impressed in knowing that there are people out there that are willing to host you for free just because they, they are cool people and they just want to help you. I remember one experience in, in Australia. We were traveling uh, two other people and myself in a car and the car broke down in a random small town in the middle of nowhere. So we had nothing, we didn't have place to stay. So we went to the closest uh, McDonald's because they offered free Wi-Fi. And we just sent two car surfing requests. Before two hours after that, a person came and picked us up and they took to their home and we stayed there for the night but they had travel arrangements so they had to leave the following day so when they were driving us back to our car the next morning the other car chauffeur called us to see if we still needed help and he basically showed up with his four-wheel drive and he tow our car to his home and we stayed with him for the next week so it was such an amazing experience. Uh, he was really helpful and they were so welcoming. And I just can't believe that there are so many people out there willing to share everything that they have with a stranger. The feeling of freedom when I was traveling with nothing, hitchhiking, staying with random people and being exposed to that generosity and kindness, that was one of the best takeaways that I have experienced from my trip. So when I came back here, I, I tried to, to share all that with, with people who are struggling with problems that if they were able to go there and see how people are living and coming back here, they would realize that they are not really real problems. They are first world problems and there are so many ways of, of dealing with them. And at the end of the day, it's relationships and, and experiences what really matter, not stuff.